Hi everyone, not too long ago I released a tool on my store called Neutral Bias and it's been great to hear that people are enjoying using it. So over the past few weeks I've been developing a new version called Neutral Bias Q. It works on the same core principle but instead of using temperature and tint to control the colour bias it now gives you three new controls, strength, hue and weight. Quick note before we dive in, Neutral Bias Hue will be a completely free download for all current Neutral Bias users for the next seven days. And if you're not already a user, for the next week, both versions of the tool will be included in the Neutral Bias download at no extra cost. After that, the original Neutral Bias will go back to being a single download and the Hue version will eventually be released separately. So the next seven days are the best time to grab it. Okay, now let's look at what's new. If you're not familiar with Neutral Bias at all, I'd recommend checking out the video linked on screen now, which goes deeper into the purpose behind the tool. This Hue edition works the same way under the hood, but the new controls might fit better into some workflows. In the original version, you set your bias with temp and tint. In Neutral Bias Hue, you do it with strength, hue and weight. So here's how it works. Strength determines how much of the bias is applied. For example, if I raise the strength here, you'll see the image shift towards a cyan bias. That bias is set by the hue control, which cycles through the entire color wheel. At zero, it starts at red, moves smoothly through all hues, and then wraps back around to red at one. Just like before, you can enable the curve overlay to see what's happening. But now there's also a hue patch at the bottom of the screen, showing you exactly which hue you're biasing the image towards and the strength of that hue. The weight control is new, and this is something that isn't really possible with temp and tint. It lets you choose whether the effect behaves additively or subtractively. Pull the weight upwards and you'll see the curves ascend, introducing a brighter additive balance. Pull it downwards and the curves sink, creating a darker subtractive color bias. The sat key slider works exactly as before, so no changes there. I wouldn't say one approach is better than the other, they're just different. Temp and tint keep things simple, with fewer controls and a feel that's closer to setting white balance in camera. The hue version, on the other hand, gives you more precision, since each slider is dedicated to a single adjustment. If you'd like both DCTLs, just make sure you're watching this within a week of release. That's when the offer is available. After the first week, Neutral Bias goes back to being a single download, but both versions will still be available together as a discounted pack very soon, so even later on, you will still have the option to grab both. If you already own Neutral Bias, you should have received an email with your free download of the Hue Edition, and if you're not a current user, now is the best time to jump in and get access to both editions for the same price. Thanks for watching.